Storm Dennis hit Herefordshire a week after Storm Kira, causing widespread flooding of homes and businesses and further major damage to roads across the area. Yet another storm, Jorge, completed a triple whammy later the same month. The last quarter of 2019 was also extremely wet, creating significant challenges for Balfour Beatty living places who maintain roads, parks, trees and open spaces in the county on behalf of Herefordshire Council. As soon as we knew the forecast extent of Storm Dennis, we set up our emergency control centre here, which worked very closely with the council's response and also with emergency services and the community. Good afternoon, Balfour Beatty. Falcon speaking. The vast majority of the people that work for Balfour Beatty here in Herefordshire actually live here with their families. Yeah, OK. Tree down in King George's. Yeah, that's in Hereford. So we had no shortage of people willing to work extra days and hours in order to support the community. <coughs> Whilst it's a bit early to say, because the flood levels are still receding, we estimate the cost to be about £10 million. And we're working now to get engineering data to support the council in their bid for additional funding. <coughs> When we first became aware of the scale of the event, uh, we quickly mobilised as much resource as we could. So we did this through our existing supply chain. So we brought in additional sweepers, we brought in additional high pressure jetters, additional diggers. We brought in additional heavy goods vehicles that carry higher loads. As well as that, we also contacted our Southampton contract, who's a part of Living Places itself with Balfour BT. They very kindly give us a construction gang that came up here for two weeks now. So at its height we had 245 emergency calls coming in. It was 80 roads closed across Herefordshire. We were able to get the majority of these roads fixed, repaired and reopened in a matter of days. But unfortunately 10% of these roads still remain closed. However they remain closed because they need further works and we're yet to carry them out which we're concentrating on at the moment. I'm at the B4224 between Fiddler's Green and Fountainhope, uh, just south of Hereford, where we've got a significant landslip due to Storm Dennis. Uh, within this landslip, we also have gas and comms cables that we're trying to make safe and divert. We also have further up, about 400 metres behind me, uh, another significant issue where we have a retaining wall support in the carriageway, which has collapsed. Uh, we're working to resolve these issues as quickly as we can. Found Hope is open, business as usual. We have diversions in place to make sure that's the case. We are at the Home Lacey Causeway where we've just finished uh, reconstructing the causeway for the second time in, uh, in the last few months due to numerous storm events we've had. Uh, the most recent storm, Dennis, a couple of weeks ago, we had water coming through up to my knees across the carriageway here, which washed out the rock armour on the edge you can see over here. Um, and made the edge of the carriageway very unstable. So we've come in, rebuilt the rock armour, uh, reinstated the verge and re topsoiled the edge. Uh, so we've had the road closed for two weeks now, just finishing off. Uh, while we had the road closed, we took the opportunity to uh, continue some bridge works so at Home Lacey Bridge behind me, brought forward the uh, bridge bearings and expansion joint works to get them carried out under the current closure to try and minimise disruption to the, uh, the local residents. Uh, and we've also been carrying out a bridge cat sonar survey of Home Lacey Bridge piers to ensure the bridge is in a safe condition to be, to be continually used. Well across Herefordshire there's been more than 500 homes and businesses flooded and al alongside that as well uh, communities that have been partially isolated by the fact that the damage to the road network has meant we can't um, get routes in and out to them. We've got um, more than 10 million pounds of, of uh, damage to our highway network as alongside the, the impact on those communities and people's lives and livelihoods. Um, we receive each year about 11 million pounds from government for the maintenance of our road and our road network is a 4.3 billion pound asset. Um, so we've written to uh, the Prime Minister setting out the, the needs that we have in terms of the infrastructure damage and the ongoing need in order to be able to continue to improve the, the uh, condition of our road network and make it resilient to future events.